Here I am, I'm Dima Sherry. I'm the chairperson at Nagaloga Buddha Center, and we're located here in Portland, Maine at One Forest Avenue. And uh, Nagaloga is a center for people who would like to participate with know themselves through meditation and studying the Dhamma, which is the Buddhist teaching. So we're part of a larger, larger order, which is um, worldwide. It's called Tree Ratna Buddhist Community. And it actually is, a, is an order for Westerners. So it was created by an English gentleman named Sangharachita. And we've been around here in Portland for almost 20 years, so maybe a little bit more. Hi, my name is Louise and um, I'm center manager here at Nagaloka Buddhist Center. And I came to Nagaloka three years ago when I moved to Portland. And I came on a friend's night, on a Wednesday night, and I've never left. I come weekly. Um, and one of the things I love most about Nagaloka is that it accepts you for who you are, and you come in and you begin wherever you are. It's a really a wonderful community, uh, which is called the Sangha. The members that come here are people that just want to come and, and uh, meditate and practice the Dharma. It's really all about uh, self-awareness and, and finding, finding uh, kindness and, um, and mindfulness. And you, you put that into your life and you bring it out. And so it's a wonderful place to come to meditate and um, be a part of a, a Sangha of like-minded people. You're going to take part in a, one of our Sunday morning meditation sessions. We just came into the Shrine Room and I thought it might be nice just to introduce you to the Buddha. The Buddha in the Shrine represents enlightenment. So basically that's why we meditate and practice being a Buddhist so that we can gain enlightenment, the perfect human state, so let go of all of our burdens. We have flowers normally. So flowers are quite beautiful, aren't they? But they fade and fall and impermanence. So we just have a symbol of impermanence on our shrine. And also we usually have candles. So that represents the light of the Dharma. So it, the, the light that we light is the same light that the Buddha has. We're inspired to to shine the light of the Dharma on all beings. We also at the current time have some pictures down below on our shrine of Dado Rupeshe who was uh, one of Sangharachita's teachers, the founder of our movement. And there's some pictures of Sangharachita and Dr. M. Becca, who is quite popular at, in the 50s in India when he converted a lot of untouchables to Buddhism. And then Sangharachita took over after he passed away. And then there's the young Dada Rupuche, the rebirth of the original Dada Rupuche, who's 21 years old now, and he was just here in the United States. So we also have an opportunity to burn incense, um, the fragrance of the beautiful, perfect life. Uh, so it's pretty sweet and fragrant. And so also um, you'll see Sunday morning I'll also ring the bell of enlightenment to just to bring us here and with awareness, uh, just touching the senses. So we have the sense of hearing, the sense of smell, the sense of seeing. Um, so it just brings us more into the moment with awareness. What we do in Sunday morning when you come here for meditation, first um, we honor the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha by saluting what we call the shrine. Let's honor the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. We'll do this in color as well. Namo Bhutaya. Namo Bhutaya. Namo. Namo Dharmaya, Namo Sanghaya, Namo Sanghaya, Namo Nama, Namo Nama, Om, Om, Ah, Ah, Hum, Hum. And then um, what we do is we chant the refuges and precepts. We do that in call and respond if there's new people here, but we also do it in unison for those people that have been coming around for quite a while. 
eventually will learn them. So we chant the refuges and precepts in a way that um, we're going to refuge to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha, not once, but three times. And then we, we say the precepts, so the negative and the positive precepts, both. So abstain from doing thir certain things, and I'll explain that more later. But we also take on a practice of, of doing certain things in our life that are more positive in, in, uh, in a way that we take these principles of practice on all by ourselves. So they're just a way of being more positive in the world. The refugees in precepts and come and respond. Namo Tassa. Namo Tassa. Bhagavato Arahato. Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambhutasa Samma Sambhutasa Namo Tassa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambhutasa Samma Sambhutasa Namo Tassa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambhutasa Samma Sambhutasa Buddham Saranangha Chami Buddham Saranangha Chami Dharman Saranangha Chami Dharmang Saranga Chami Sanghang Saranga Chami Sanghang Saranga Chami Dutyampi Bhutam Saranga Chami Dutyampi Bhutam Saranga Chami Dutyampi Dharmang Saranga Chami Dutyampi Dharmang Saranga Chami Dutyampi Sanghang Saranga Chami Dutyampi Sanghang Saranga Chami Tatyampi Bhutam Saranga Chami Tatyampi Bhutam Saranga Chami Tatyampi Dharmang Saranga Chami Tatyampi Dharmang Saranga Chami Tatyampi Sanghang Saranga Chami Tatyampi Sanghang Saranga Chami Panati Pata Panati Pata Veremini Veremini Sikapadam Sikapadam Samadhyami Samadhyami Adinadana Adinadana Veremini Veremini Sikapadam Sikapadam Samadhyami Samadhyami Musavada Musavada Veremini Veremini Sikapadam Sikapadam Samadhyami Samadhyami Suram Maryam Suram Maryam Maja Maja Pana Dittana Pana Dittana Veremini Veremini Sikapadam Sikapadam Samadhyami Samadhyami Sadhu Sadhu Of loving kindness. With, With deeds of loving kindness, I purify my body. I purify my body. With open handed generosity. With open handed generosity, I purify my body. I purify my body. With stillness, simplicity, and contentment. With stillness, simplicity, and contentment, I purify my body. I purify my body. 
With truthful communication. With truthful communication. I purify my speech. I purify my speech. With mindfulness clear and radiant. With mindfulness clear and radiant. I purify my mind. I purify my mind. Before we meditate, I'm actually going to do a chant. I'm going to start a chant, and a chant for um, the Bodhisattva of, of love. He's called Amitabha. So we'll, we'll do a chant before we start meditating. And when we let that chant die out, uh, it will do it all on its own. Oh, Mami Devari. Oh, Mami Devari. And then I'll do a body scan. So just bring us into our body with more awareness, not only of our body, but us being here in the moment with our senses and with other beings. So just settling down on your cushion or your mat or your chair, bench. Just feeling your connection to the earth below you. And just let your body weight go and feel the support you're receiving. On the earth. So you can just let everything go. Your weight. Just anything that you might be hanging on to. So just know that we're in a space of comfort. Being content, just being here in the moment. Connecting with those that are beside you, in front of you, behind you sharing this wonderful environment, space for meditation. Going deeper within yourself, so just dropping that seed of awareness, mindfulness, deep inside your being. And as you do that, your, your breath is there, so just connect with your breathing. Just simply aware of your breath as it enters and leaves your body, just breathing in and breathing out. Connecting more with your body. Meditation and awareness is about opening and expanding yourself. So the level of concentration is here in the moment with awareness. So you're going deep within yourself. Concentrating with an upright posture, awake, but relaxed and still. Just simply breathing in and breathing out. Aware of our senses, helping us to be in the moment with awareness. So we have a sense of seeing with our eyes closed. It's almost like we have a mind's eye. 
So we can visualize and a sense of seeing, a sense of hearing. We might hear traffic or we might even hear the person next to us breathing. So just a sense of hearing, helping us to stay in the moment with awareness by opening our sense of hearing. Our sense of smell. So we feel the air pass through our nose. We know this is where we have a sense of smell. sense of taste. You might feel the moisture in your mouth. And just remember the place to hold your mouth is with your teeth apart, your lips together, and your tongue is just resting on the roof of your mouth. So your jaw just relaxes. our sense of touch. Our whole body has a sense of touch. Just aware of how you're connected to the bench or the cushion. Perhaps your hands are touching each other. And you might even feel your clothes against your skin. Let's bring all of our awareness to our hands. Just let your hands wrap, relax and be still. They accomplish a lot of duties. So we can just let them rest and be at ease. Breathing in and breathing out sense of awareness of your body, your senses, and your surroundings. We can use our breath like a wave of relaxation. So as we breathe in, we bring in that wave of relaxation through our entire body, all the way down to our toes. And as we breathe out, we bring that wave of relaxation starting at our toes and going all the way up through our body out the crown of our head. So take a moment using your breath as a wave of relaxation spreading through your entire body. our awareness to our feet, all the way down to the soles of our feet. And it feels almost like you're breathing into your feet as you bring awareness to your feet. And start moving up through your ankles with awareness through your lower legs, your calves, your shins, and through your knees. And then we're going to do a period of mindfulness of breathing, and that will be done in four stages. And I'll lead you through those four stages. Our focus of attention is always on our breath. We're training our mind to be aware of what's going on in the moment so that we're not being pulled off in other directions. So we're actually using our breath to stay in the moment with awareness. So in the first stage, we breathe in and breathe out, count one. Breathe in and breathe out, count two. We breathe in and breathe out, count three. So every time you exhale, you place a count from one to ten. So that's the first stage. In the second stage, we switch the counting from the out-breath to the in-breath.
So now we count one, breathe in and breathe out. Count two, breathe in and breathe out. All the way up to 10. So when you lose the focus of your attention on your breath and you don't know which count you just left off with, you just simply just come back to one. And then in the third stage, what we do is we just drop the counting. So there's no reason to count now because we've, we've really developed some awareness to our breath. So now we can really focus on it more deeply with a sense of concentration, not a hard concentration, but an expansive open concentration so that you're really aware of your breath being in your body. And then in the fourth stage, we find that area where the air becomes breath. So where do you feel the breath as it enters your body? Usually it's right inside of your nose, or it could be at the top of your lip. So any place where you can feel the air coming in as breath. So, and the same as the breath comes out. So where is the point in your body that you can first feel the breath, and then where is, does it leave your body? Where do you feel the breath? as it comes out of your body. So again, remembering, even though we're focusing perhaps on the inside of our nose more, that we need to follow that whole breath as it comes in and as it leaves our body. So the mindfulness of breathing. In the first stage of the mindfulness of breathing, we count our out breaths from one to 10. So breathe in, breathe out, count one. Breathe in, breathe out, count two all the way up to 10. Mindfully aware of our breath. Observing the natural flow as you breathe in and breathe out. Following the in breath. And following the out breath all the way to the end with a sense of letting go. Just notice in the background there's this counting that goes along with your breath. So in the forefront is your breath. To help you to stay with your breath, there's the count.
thoughts come passing through our minds. Just notice that. There's a thought. Then we just simply come back to the focus of our attention. The focus of our attention is on our breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Moving into the second stage, the mindfulness of breathing. We switch the counting from our out breath to our in breath. Now we count one, breathe in and breathe out. Count two, breathe in and breathe out. All the way up to 10. body that we sense of awareness and breath is there for us. Breathing in, breathing out.
focus of attention is soft and open. Concentration. It's a concentration that's not hard. It's a soft concentration. Where expansion comes from within and goes to the outside.
moving into the third stage, the mindfulness of breathing. In this stage, our focus of attention is on our breath, and we drop the counting, bringing awareness to our in-breath and our out-breath, simply observing the natural flow.
in the fourth stage of the mindfulness of breathing. Again, our focus of attention is on our breath. In this stage, we find where air becomes breath and breath becomes air. So where do you first feel the breath as it enters and leaves your body? Our focus of attention is on our whole breath. And our concentration is on the area that the breath enters and leaves our body. Where do you feel your breath? Where do we first feel the sensation of the breath? Usually it's passing through the inside of our nostril. And where do we feel the breath upon leaving a body? So it's the point when air becomes breath. And it's the point where breath becomes air. So you might notice in this fourth stage that our attention is kind of refined to the area of our nose or our throat, or maybe even the top of our lip. But we want to remember to expand that concentration and awareness so that we follow our whole breath. Our whole breath enters our body and our whole breath leaves our body. So remembering the focus of our attention is on our whole breath in the moment with awareness in our bodies. And to help us, we find where the breath enters and leaves our body. Again, our mind will do what it's good at, and that's thinking. And we may see it as a distraction, but we simply just become aware of our mind thinking, and then we just bring it gently back to the focus of our attention. We're training the mind. We're training the mind to become aware of the moment. So our moment is now focusing on our breath.
Taking a moment now just to reflect on the meditation. Reflecting on how you're doing. Your body, your feelings, your emotions. How are you responding to meditation? Mind goes to breathing. Friends of Mary. May the man obtained in my acting, acting thus go to the alleviation of the suffering of all beings. My, my personality throughout my existences, my possessions, and my merit in all three ways. I give up without regard to myself for the, the benefit, benefit of all beings, beings. Just, just as the earth and other elements are serviceable in many ways to the infinite number of beings inhabiting limitless space, so may I become that which maintains all beings situated throughout space, so long as all have not attained to peace.